So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you an introduction to python windows in rgis pro so let's get started so now in rgis pro so you can able to visualize here this is the content section and below we have our python windows and in the right side we have our catalog section and the next one is our geoprocessing tools so where you can able to find the different geoprocessing tools and the catalog is available in the view section so where you can able to uh, visualize this option called catalog pan so just by clicking this option a new window popped up saying catalog and similarly for the geoprocessing tools so now you can wish to visualize the geoprocessing windows so in the middle we have our map view it is a map view section so this is our python window suppose if the python window is not available in this section so you can go to the view section and click this option called uh, python windows so click this option a new python window will be opened here just like here you are visualizing here so the python window is a great place for running and experimenting with python commands and syntax so the python window has a two sections so here the smallest section of the bot bottom is the python prompt so this is where the code is uh, written and entered so and the last section at the top is the transcript so here so this section of transcript this provides a record of any code that we uh, entered and executed to see the python windows so now let us visualize this two uh, section in action that is our python prompt and this transcript so now i will write a few codes using our core python functionality so now uh, at the python prompt i'm going to type x equals to 3 to set the variable named uh, x to the value of 3 so now let me enter as x equals to 3 and now click enter in your keyboard and now we can able to visualize it get hex code in the transcri uh, transcript section so here so now i'm going to type y e equals to 9 so now I have typed y equals to 9 and click enter in your keyboard. So again it gets echoed in our transcript section as a y equals to 9. So now we're going to type the third variable that is z. We're going to type z equals to x plus y. So now you can able to visualize have uh, typed a third variable called z equals to x plus y. So now click enter. So now we're gonna we're gonna uh, print the contents of the z that is x plus y. So here x equals to three and y is equals to nine. So z as uh, x equal to three plus nine equals to twelve. So now let us enter print. So we're gonna enter our variable z. So now enter click enter so now we can able to visualize the contents of z is called uh, output of 12 that is 3 plus 9 equals to 12 so now uh, our fourth line of code is being executed and the current value of z is uh, printed to be 12 in the transcript section so you can able to visualize it it is 12 so now suppose we want to make change want to change uh, want to make a changes to the variable values for example we want, we want to change the value of x y or the z so all you have to do is in keyboard you have to uh, click the up arrow so like this so you can select your variable so for now i'm going to select this particular x equals to 3 going to change to 5 so i have say change to uh, x equals to 5 so now i'm going to enter and now I'm going to up arrow 1, 2 and 3, 3 times to go to the uh, section called the z equals to x plus y. So we're going to run this particular code that is z equals to x plus y. So now the current value of x is around 5. So to execute this, click enter. So now we have our z equals to x plus y. So now the current value of x is 5. That is 5 and the current value y is 9 so it is around 14 so now we're gonna uh, execute uh, we're gonna visualize the 
the contents of Z. So for that, we're gonna uh, enter print Z. So now you can able to visualize. I have entered as print Z. So now click enter. So now I can now able to visualize the current value of Z is around 14. So now uh, you can able to visualize. It looks like uh, we have a good and simple way to run our core Python uh, functionality available within uh, ArcGIS Pro. So now let me drag this up. And the ArcGIS Pro comes with a powerful site package called Pi, which can be used to perform a spatial data analysis and data conversion and data management and map automation. So now let us see something that we can do with our ArcPython from our Python windows using. So uh, when we use uh, ArcPython from our Python windows. So now let us add our uh, let us add our shape file into our ArcGIS Pro. So go to the catalog section. So the catalog section is available in the view section. So click this option called catalog pan. A new window popped up saying catalog. So in that we're going to create a folder connection. So here we're going to click this folder option. Right click. We're going to add our folder connection. So now we can able to visualize here. I have made a folder connection here. I just click this folder called data source and click OK. So now a new folder has been added to our folder called introduction to Python windows in ArcGIS Pro. So click this arrow. So now you can able to visualize the different shape files available for this course will be provided here and the link for the the downloadable, downloadable shape files will be given in the description where you can able to access the data and you can uh, you can practice over arc python tutorial using this uh, data this shape files will be given in the description so now in the data section so we can able to visualize our folder called uh, data so uh, in that a polygon feature class with the name ends with a country's shape file so you can able to visualize this particular shape file called countries.shp shp here refers to shape files so now i could like to see to uh, i could like to count the how many polygons are in it so we're going to count how many polygons are uh, available in this shape file so for that in rgis pro has a tool called uh, get count that can give me that information so one way that i can bring that into our python window is to use the analysis tab so we had to click this option called analysis so in that we're going to click this option called tools so a new window has been popped up popped up saying geoprocessing so once we have opened our geoprocessing windows you can uh, type the tool name called get count so now let me type that so once you got the tool called get count so we're going to click and uh, drag this into our python prompt so now I have dropped into a python prompt so there is our python dot management dot get count so now to supply the data set to that tool so we're going to drag and drop our country shape file from our catalog pan into our uh, python prompt between the brackets so I have uh, going to drop this here between the brackets so now I can able to visualize it so once I have entered the entered the key the enter key the tool will run and we can able to visualize our result so now click let me click enter so it is running so now you can able to visualize the result is around 255 then the result is not a simple integer it is actually a result object to see that it's not uh, so now to uh, see that is not an uh, integer or a string so i'm gonna app arrow and uh, we're gonna so we're gonna wrap uh, our python type function around our get count so we're gonna select that so i've selected our get count so now we're gonna add our type our type function around our get count so now we're gonna add another bracket the round bracket here so now let me enter click enter so now i will show you how to set a variable to an integer obtained from the get count variable so now we're gonna select this line of code so for that click the up arrow and select the line of uh, that particular line of code that is our get count function so now we're gonna add our num polygon equals to our python dot management dot get count so now let me add our num polygon 
So now we have entered as a num polygons equals to our python dot management dot get function. So in the last, we are gonna add our square brackets with an index of zero between them at the end. So now we can able to visualize here. I have added a square back a bracket with the uh, with the index value of zero. So now uh, click enter to execute the code. So now we're gonna type as a as a num poly to see that it's an uh, it's a string. So now I have typed as a type function. We have used num polys and let us execute this code. Click enter. So now you can able to visualize it is a string. So now to get an integer instead, we're gonna up arrow. That is, we're gonna up arrow. So we're gonna select this line of code using our up arrow. So now let me show you that. So Press your up arrow in your keyboard and select this line of code. So now we're gonna add our integer around our Python function of our get count. So let me show you that. So now let me add our int integer and add a round bracket at the last. So now we have added an integer to our get count function so uh, we added a bracket around uh, at the last so now to execute this code we have to click enter so previously it was in a uh, string so now we have converted it to an integer so to visualize that we're gonna select this line of code by up arrow so we're gonna up arrow and select the type and uh, num polygons and now click enter so now you can able to visualize it is an integer so previously it was in string, so now it is we have converted to it to an integer. So it's an integer, so you can able to see that. So now using our print function to see that we now have an integer variables. The num poly is set to the number of polygons in the country shape file, which is around 255. So now we're gonna enter as print. We're gonna select that as our num polygons. So now click enter to execute the code. So now you can able to visualize it is around 255. So the get count function is uh, very useful. So make sure that you uh, need to practice uh, often with this functions. So it is a very uh, a useful function or get count function. So now let me show you that particular shape file in our map section. So I'm going to open our catalog. So in that we have selected this particular shape file countries shape file. That is countries.shp. I'm going to drag this into our map view section. So now let me turn these other layers off. So now we can able to visualize that this is the shape file we are currently using. And we have uh, used our count function to count the number of polygons from this shape file. So it is a country's boundary polygon. So now uh, we're going to use our Python window to select the polygon for India, India out into its own feature class. So to do this, we're going to use our geoprocessing tool. So to do that, we're going to add our art Python dot analysis. So now let me type in our Python prompt section. So type as an art Python dot analysis and now enter as select. So now I have added our art python dot analysis dot select. So now we're gonna drag over our, our country's shape file that is over from catalog section. We're gonna drag and drop this country's shape file between these round, uh, round brackets. So now next we're gonna type comma and uh, it is expecting our feature class name. So now we're gonna enter a uh, double quotes. Between that, we're gonna type our country's name, that is our India. So we can able to visualize here, basically we are using our, from the analysis section, section we are using our select tool from our geoprocessing, which, uh, which I have entered as a select. It is a geoprocessing tool. And in that, we have added our country's shapefile into our, the select tool. And we are specifically uh, saying India as our we are selecting specifically India as our required polygon from our country's boundary polygon. So now we're gonna add a comma and we're gonna type, uh, we're gonna enter a double quotes. So here we're gonna 
enter as name equals to india and india in uh, the india should be in uh, single quotes so now we can able to visualize here so we have typed a uh, name equals to india in single quotes surrounded by a uh, double quotes so now to execute this code click enter So now you can able to visualize a new shapefile has been created called India. So we can able to visualize here. Now let me turn this layer off. So now you can able to visualize a new shapefile has been created called India. So basically we have created a, a feature class named India as created in our default uh, database of our project. So now we can uh, able to see that. So let me click the catalog section in that go to the database folders so click this so uh, introduction to the python windows and rgis we're gonna select that so in that a new uh, shapefile called india is created from our country's boundary polygon so this is our india's feature class in our geo database uh, folder so now uh, you can able to wish uh, seen a few simple tasks that you can uh, perform in python windows that uh, just by using our in our art by python so now to save our project go to the project section and click this option click this option called save and make sure that you save your work so you can close your python window just by clicking this option to close so in this video i have shown you how to count a number of polygons from our country's boundary polygon and we have introduced a select tool from our geoprocessing uh, windows to select a feature class of India from our country's boundary polygon. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.